Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Zero. We're um, we're making some progress tonight. Finally, getting out the last part of June reading. So, Pisces, it's your turn. Let's get your cards read. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, awesome. I have to find somewhere to set this. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. It's general reading. It's not going to resonate with other Pisces. Just, you know, check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. <clears throat> Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher, and cross-watchers are always welcome here. Come on in. More and more. I enjoy having you. Makes it interesting. Okay. Okay, Pisces. I'm going to try to finish up the cycle tonight and uh, do the work week top and bottom reading in the morning before I go to my bread and butter job. I don't know. We'll see how this in Taurus goes. Anyway, enough babbling. Why are you here, Pisces? Seven of Swords. Someone. There's definitely secrets and some shady stuff going on right now. Good possibility, but look at this card. Someone may have left something behind. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The Empress. You may feel like they're the one. Like they're the end all be all. Like you they're the one you might want to have a family with. You definitely, you know, might see potential there for, for growth. For this to go somewhere. Yeah, that's awesome. What do you think of them? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, with the Empress card, we also have Gemini or Taurus. Um, Capricorn, it, it's a powerful pulling connection. Potentially something of a certain nature that I will not mention here. If you would like to go into that further, please shoot me an email and we'll talk about it. Of a certain nature that I'm not going to say. Hmm. Wow. Wow. There's definitely a pull there, for, for real. It, maybe they're into some toxic things that you're not potentially toxic. It all depends on opinion. I don't want to throw my opinions on anyone. They may do some unsavory things. I'll put it to you that way. It's a good possibility. What do you want from them? The hermit. Oh, wow. Pisces. This is lining up. You, you feel like they're the one. You definitely feel a powerful connection, but they're doing some... Okay, they're potentially doing some not so savory things, and you want them to go inside and find the inner light and possibly heal from something they haven't healed from. Maybe do a little bit of introspection. 
A little self work maybe. Okay. What do they feel about you? Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving stability. They feel like you have something to offer them. Okay. We'll get a clarifier on that in a second. I don't think I got to clarify any of this though. What do they think of you? Three cups reversed. Hmm. You're not a partier. At the very least, that's what I'm getting out of that. You could talk of disconnects. It couldn't. You could talk of third party situations, but I don't see any of the threes here yet. So we're not going to go there yet. At this point, I'm, I'm just catching, you're not into some of the things that, sorry, they're not into some of the things that you might be into. You're not into the same things. I get all mishmashed when I get to this point. You're not into what they're into. Okay. What do they want from you? Seven of Cups. Reversed. There's some confusion here. May, they may want to end the confusion. Hmm. What's the obstacle? Five of Pentacles. The five comes between the four and the six. The holding something back and the leveling of the playing field. The obstacle is getting from one end to the other. I don't, I'm not seeing this as being left out in the cold. I'm seeing this as the transition. Fives are transitions. done. Perfect reversed. Oh boy. That's not the card I wanted to see. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to work with what we got to work with. Can I get some clarity? I need some clarity. <clears throat> Can I get some clarity on the cards of the table for Pisces, please? Universe, source, and spirit. Clarity on the cards on the table for Pisces for the end of June, please. start doing that they're just saying I want to talk stop shuffling so I'm gonna stop shuffling all right why is the knight of pentacles here show themselves. Do I really want to do four cards right now? You know, I think I'm going to put these back in and see if they come back out. I'm not even going to look at them. Okay. Can I get one more? One more for whoever wants to. Thanks. I have a wands reversed. Okay. They feel like you have something to offer them. But at the same time, 
they feel like you're not putting the work into the connection and you're just trying to avoid conflict. Hmm. Okay. One more. You flipped out. You're going to talk. Four of Cups. They may also feel like you're ignoring the good things that they try to do and concentrating on the not so good things. This is what you're concentrating on. There's three, three cups, three small cups. This is what they're trying to hand you. Why is the three cups reversed here? For what the other person thinks of Pisces. Hi. Strength in the reverse. I'm going to throw one more on that before I open my mouth. I dropped you, you did not come out on your own. You came out on your own. Three of cups reversed. You know when the same card comes out to clarify, you, you know what that says. I was right the first time. You are not into the same things. You're not into what they're into. And it's a little bit draining on the relationship. Hmm. Okay. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is Seven of Cups reversed here? Six of Cups reversed. The Moon reversed. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's stop there for a second. One more. Ace of Wands. Okay. I think they're getting a sense that you have some possibly memories with a past person that are kind of salty in regards to the, some of the things that they may do. They want, they want to shed some light on that and move forward from it. Maybe, maybe they have a nasty habit that you just can't stand. It could be something completely mild and mundane and not something too crazy toxic and you're just not all about that. Maybe you're just not into the same things. Maybe they like to go out to clubs and, you know, bars or whatever, hang out with friends. And you're just not all about that. You could just want them to stay in a little bit more often. Hmm. Okay. I'm getting a sense that the person you're dealing with may might possibly have been sneaking around, maybe, maybe doing it behind your back. Maybe that might be what the issue is. I don't know. All right. Okay. All right. Why is the five of pentacles here for the obstacle? Why is the five of pentacles here?
Alright, one's reversed. Weapons down, walls down. Ace of Cups reversed, Spoke Cup. Someone. Oh my. Wow. Remember what I said about the holding back to the leveling of the playing field and this is somewhere in the middle? Yeah. The obstacle here is someone's afraid of being left out in the cold. Someone's afraid of the cup being spilled and it, and it not working out. And... It's like they want to let the walls down and they want to let loose, but maybe you're you're afraid to. One or one are you, one or the both of you. One more on that. Double reversed. Yep. Someone may be afraid to let go of all that stuff that they do for fun, for someone else. It's like, why can't you just let me live? Wow, that's deep. That's deep. It needs to be done. Why is the Hierophant reversed here? of Pentacles. One more. Pisces. It could be you. Or it could be the person you're dealing with. It could be you. Just because something in the past did not work out does not mean you're going to repeat the cycle because the person that you happen to be getting involved with has some of the same unsavory habits that someone from your past did. That just means you attract the same kind of people. I don't... I don't example. I don't have any tattoos yet. I've never been on a motorcycle in my life, but I find myself attracted to guys with tattoos that ride motorcycles. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. And I've never rode in the back of a motorcycle ever. I'm, I'm actually terrified of it. But it's just what I'm into. That doesn't mean I'm going to repeat the same bad cycle over and over again because it's a different person. Do you get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? You have to allow a painful cycle from the past to end and allow the sun to shine again. You have to turn this upside down and let it revolve to a one, to an ace of sorts. New thoughts, new ideas, new things. You have to let go. You can't hold on anymore. I could be talking to you. I could be talking person to the other one. Let's get your advice. I think we're about to advice. It is swords reversed. King of wands reversed. If you stay wrapped up in it, in the this could happen. You're never going to move forward. You cannot let your fear control you. It's 
Six of Wands reversed and the Temperance reversed. If you don't allow for positive energy and you don't be patient with yourself and the universe and the person you're dealing with, you're not going to get your victory. It's just not going to happen. Victory comes when you allow positive energy to flow. Oh, a threefer. Okay. King of Cups reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, and Judgment reversed. Okay. You can't be emotionally closed off. You can't lose your sense of self. Hold on. I have to read five together. Hold on. The fool in the world reversed. Okay. More about cycle changes. You have to allow the cycle to end before you can move on to the next path. You can't keep hanging on. You can't emotionally close yourself off. You can't lose your passion and your sense of self. And you can't resurrect something until you let it die. allow the cycles to end. I will say it over... I feel like a broken record sometimes. I really do. But, Pisces, I love you guys. You guys have been wonderful. You've been so patient. Thank you so much for everything. You guys are amazing. Okay, this has been the last part of June. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm not going to twist your arm. I say the same thing at the end of every video. If you think you have a friend that might benefit from watching this, go ahead and share it. Feel free. If you're in need of a personal reading, I am booked solid. I am getting to people as fast as I can. If I have not responded to a personal reading request yet, it is because I'm still searching through the email. So I, I take them in the order in which I receive them. Okay. Thanks for coming over. Love you to bits. Be blessed, and I'll catch you next time.